You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So oh, where does it come from? The scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? Guys, so welcome to episode 5. As you can see, I'm back in Ireland and I'm actually back on my club pitch that I used to play for, Scottsdown. And I said that I wanted to break in the new boots. So I picked up these in curses um, off a buddy that is on Instagram called Boots Mania, I think. I'll put them on the screen right now so you can check him out on Instagram. He literally had a boot full of boots and I was going to buy more, but I decided to go for the in curses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick a couple of frees, do a couple of sprints, try and break them in, have a bit of fun here on this custom pitch and I'll try and video as much as I can, how many scores I can get and see how many I can miss as well, so I keep us updated. Okay so this is not edited, this is the first time I'm taking a shot in my new boots, if I miss I'm going to put it up, I'm not going to miss though. Ball's a bit flat. I'm going to give you a quick couple of tips on how I take my freeze. I actually thought that was going to drop short, but thank God it went over the bar. I never took freeze for my club back home with uh, Scottsdown or even Dundalk Eels. But since we went to Toronto, I've been taking all the freeze all last year and this year. And I'm actually really, really confident uh, anywhere between the 45 yard in either side, uh, preferably. I like the far side, whereas most people would think it's a left footed shot. But I don't know what it is what my setup is like, it just gives me a bit of confidence when I'm shooting from that side. But I'll talk you through a couple of free kick techniques that I've learned from a couple of ex-players that give me some ideas. So yeah, I'm going to show you some of that. Okay, so like I said, I'm just simply going to take a couple of free kicks here. This is actually a difficult position, so if I got this in a match, I'd probably go for the, for the point, okay? So I'm going to line up a little bit to the right of the far post because it's a little bit windy and I'm going to try and steal as many yards. So if the free kick was from here, all I'm going to do is pick the ball up, only take up about two or three steps, and when I'm shooting, it'll be a lot more past where the free kick was actually given. Okay, so that was a difficult enough free from my point of view. Went over the bar. I'm gonna take a couple more. In the middle left, I can give you some more tips because I was never a free take taker, uh, but I tried and tried my best to learn some techniques from ex-footballers. Um, so that's what I do. Try and steal as many yards, line up the shoulder where you think the wind is gonna be taking the ball. And yeah, let's take a couple of shots. Some people get confused when you take a free kick on this side that you still put your left shoulder to the far post like I said the other side but when you take a free kick on this side put your shoulder to the first post because essentially you're, you're still hitting it from the inside of the foot so you still want it to go left so you're going to put your shoulder to the front post here not the far post Now obviously, if you're going to hit it from the outside of the boot, you aim for the far post. Whatever direction you want the ball to go in, is which will dictate where your left shoulder aims up for. So I'm going to aim for the left shoulder to the far post, and then let it come in, okay? <laughs> Too much curl, but you get the idea. Put the shoulder up with the far post that you want it to curl into. Try and steal as many yards as you can, depending on where the free kick was taken. And 
keep practicing before training and after training and also before your matches get your range in because the wind is going to have a huge factor and you want to make sure you have that right before your game i'm going to take a couple of shots here a couple of sprints try out these boots so Ricey out of here, I'll see you later on. I'm gonna keep this iron vlog pretty long so I can do one whole video of my time here now. What are you doing now? I'm going to the gym. Why? Rory! Quick mate, quick, what? it's kind of coming. And we are back in Toronto. I'm really sorry that the video was cut short just as we were about to catch up with Rory. Uh, we did put the camera away because we didn't want to feel like a paparazzi as Rory prepares for his All-Ireland semi-final so i'm back in toronto and the main reason why i went to ireland was actually because of a wedding and really just to meet everyone again it was the first time i was home in a long long time i didn't want to vlog that much but on that day where i was going to kick around i thought it would be pretty interesting and also maybe educational to some of you guys trying to kick free kicks to try and watch someone that was never actually really good at free kicks and try to learn and teach himself. So all all did I get up to in Ireland when I was home, I did go for a kickabout, I tested out the new boots. I also went to the gym and I wanted to do some Olympic lifting and the reason I wanted to do some Olympic lifting is because I wanted to keep my power uh, going through the season so I didn't want to take a full week off the gym so I did get to the gym and did some uh, cleaning jerks nothing crazy I met up with my buddy David and we did some cleaning jerks he had been doing some cleaning jerks in the past before so it suited us perfectly to get some of those cleaning jerks in at the fitness habit then like I said I had the wedding with my girlfriend it was a great day it was a great second day as well and then I had a couple of days with my family we just kind of chilled around for a couple of days and I wanted to meet all my cousins again and uncles and aunties and then I just jumped on another flight to Toronto and got back here and being home for a week really made me realize how much I love Toronto and how much I actually missed it and how much I loved my job so while I was gone the unfortunate thing was that my team lost in the championship here for the first time in two years. I, we didn't lose a championship game at all last year. We lost at the weekend when I was in Ireland. And they are quite a good team. They won the league and hopefully we'll meet them down the line in the future. We are still in the championship. We do have our final group game to play. And that would be a big game for us because when we are defeated in the championship, we like to bounce back with a win. So the next video will be me talking through the last group game and how it went. So to be honest, I'm going to really cut this video a little bit shorter than I would have liked because of the footage in Ireland wasn't too extreme. So I met up with Rory over the days that I was home and he's been putting in amazing performances in the championship so far so i really hope that run continues and i will see you all in the next video very very soon i am a little bit behind on the episodes here but i'm going to bang out a couple of videos in quick succession over the next couple of days so like the video please subscribe if you want to see more episodes of this championship prep season three it's coming into august now it's coming into the really vital time when my training and my diet needs to be 100 percent perfect I'm looking forward to the semi-finals. My main focus is winning the last group game of the championship and then moving on to the semi-finals, win it, and then whatever happens after that, we can focus to the final then. So, righty out of here. Love you all, and I'll see you for soon. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? It seems that keeps playing.